Hello, Father Dan here with a Thanksgiving ski chair chat. I've got a nice little chocolate turkey here. I took this off my secretary's desk, so I guess I'm going to have to put it back. But it looks like it would be a good piece of chocolate. Now, Thanksgiving's not about chocolate. Thanksgiving's about eating too much food, parades, football games, getting together with family, and most importantly, thanking God uh, for all the, the gifts he's given us. Yeah, sometimes we don't feel thankful. Yeah, sometimes things aren't exactly the way we'd like them to be for us or for our family or our friends. But God's there. God's in the midst of it all. Uh, God sometimes allows things that we're not sure why. But if we're honest, it's our difficult moments that make us better people, that bring us closer uh, to God. So as crazy as it sounds, maybe even we thank God for our trials and our tribulations because in the midst of those, we become better people. doesn't mean we want more trials and tribulations. But So as we get closer to Thanksgiving, maybe spend the next couple of days just really reflecting, what can I be thankful for? What am I taking for granted in my life? Uh, and if Thanksgiving is a time when you spend it a little more quietly with maybe just yourself or a few other people, that's okay too. And we're thankful to God just simply for the gift of our lives, uh, the gift of our health. Uh, and if our health isn't the greatest, we're still thankful that God's with us in the midst of difficulties with our health. Um, it's all a choice. We can live each day in a spirit of thanksgiving, or we can live each day in a spirit of looking at, oh, what's wrong? Uh, God brought us into this world ultimately. Ultimately, the gift of life is a gift from God. So let's be thankful for nothing else uh, for that. Have a great Thanksgiving and enjoy the rest of today. And may God bless you and your family.